Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos on lesson content. Got no place to be. Got no place to go. Come hang out with me on the Mr. Flanders Show. Hey everybody, Mr. Flanders here, and we are going to start diving into our first math lesson for the week. Um, this one, or well, rather this worksheet is going to be very brief for me to talk to you guys about. It's just like what we would normally do in class. Um, so let's just go ahead and hop right into it. Uh, last week we started talking about our two times table, okay? And we are going to continue to do that. Now, our two times table is very easy to work with if we are just counting by twos. Um, you remember multiplication is just about grouping, right? So, you know, like we can say that our top number here is telling us how many groups we have. So if this says two times zero, it is telling us we have two groups of zero. Um, I mean, obviously we can't add zero together. We can't multiply zero. So that answer would be just zero. Now, Let's go ahead. Why is it paper there? Or hair? Whatever. Okay, uh, looking at the next one, 2 times 1, well, this is telling us we have two ones. So 2 times 1, I've got one group here, 2 right there. So 2 times 1 would be 1, 2. That's it, guys. 2. Boom. Let's look at 2 times 2. Well, that's telling us we have two groups of 2. So here's my first group of 2. And here's my second group of two. Now let's just go ahead and count those. One, two, three, four. So two times two is four. It's the same thing as if we do two plus two, okay? Let's go ahead and look at two times three. Well, again, it's just telling us we have two groups of three. So here's my first group of three, one, two, three. Here's my second group of three, one, two, three. So all together, what do I have? Well, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So two times three is six. See, really easy stuff, guys. Okay, really easy stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and help you with this last one, and then I'm gonna leave you to do it on your own, uh, just because this is normally how we would do our class fact practice anyways, but since our two times table is a little new to us, I want to get you guys started off on the right foot. Our last one that I'm going to help with is 2 times 4. Well, what should I do? That's right, I should make two groups of 4. So here's my first group. 1, 2, 3, 4. See? My first group there. And then here's my second group. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, in case you're a little confused by the whole grouping idea, I'm going to circle this to show you this is one group. And this is a second group. Okay? I have two circles. Each circle has four in it. Okay? So this represents two times four, but in tally format with groups. Um, without further ado, though, let's just go ahead and count these and figure out how much two times four is. Here we go. We've got one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8. So 2 times 4 is 8. All right. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys to the rest of these. They should be pretty easy. Uh, if at any point you have any problems, though, please have uh, your parents either reach out or you can reach out to me on Class Dojo or Flipgrid. Um, and I would, you know, I would gladly help you guys through this. Um, other than that, I'm going to get going. I'll see you guys over on our next math lesson. Take it easy. Hey guys, Mr. Flanders here. We're jumping back into our uh, first math lesson for the week. And we are now looking at our lesson worksheet 116. Uh, if you'll notice, I've already got some of this done uh, done for us on the worksheet. If you'll see this in Google Classroom, you'll also see that I've used actual pictures in your documents instead of just drawing things, and you actually already have the answers written in these spots. For the sake of going over it, though, for everybody, I've left them blank on my end so I can show you guys how I got to those answers. 
Uh, you'll also notice that I've left these two areas blank because these will be for you guys to do on your own for practice at home. Uh, but for now, let's not worry about these two. Let's go ahead and jump into these two problems. Um, so this worksheet is a uh, multiplication worksheet. And if you did your class fact practice before this, you'll remember I was talking a little bit about grouping. And that's what we're doing here too. So for number one, I've plugged in the numbers five and four. And I've even written them down here in a multiplication problem. So it says five groups of four wheels is blank wheels. So I've made five groups. Here's my first group, my second group, third group, fourth group, and fifth group. And in each group, I have put four wheels. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I have five groups of one, two, three, four. Now, as a multiplication problem, it looks like this. But, I mean, since we are still learning how to do multiplication problems, that's why we're going to write it out like this. What I would like everybody to do is take a moment and count how many wheels do I have? Out of my five groups of four, how many wheels do I have? Um, if you started counting on your own, great. I will go ahead and count with you now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So five times four is twenty. I have twenty wheels. Five times four is twenty. I know five times four is twenty because I've made one, two, three, four, five groups of one, two, three, four wheels. Okay. Go ahead and take a moment, finish that up if you need. And remember, if you're doing this in Google Classroom, I've already done this problem for you just to show you what it looks like. All right, number two. This problem, I've created eight groups of two buttons. Okay, so here are my eight groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you'll notice in each group there is one, two. There are two buttons. Well, let's go ahead and count how many buttons we have all together. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So out of my eight groups of two, we have 16 buttons, okay? So that means I know eight times two is 16, okay? Now, what I want you guys to do as you're finishing that up, go ahead and look at number three and number four, okay? Number three and number four are completely blank problems. You'll notice it says blank groups of blank hearts is blank hearts. It is going to be your job to come up with your own groups and your own numbers to create your own multiplication problem. Okay? If you're doing this on Google, Google Classroom, um, feel free to have a parent or uh, you know sibling help you put some pictures in here or some shapes in there to help with your grouping. Um, if you're doing this at home though, feel free to use circles, use tally marks. You can try to draw the hearts if you would like to. Um, I, I'm really interested to see what you guys do to create your own multiplication problems. But remember, you're going to be making groups and then also counting the numbers that are in those groups, okay? And then for number four, you're going to be doing the same thing as number one, except instead of using my numbers for the wheels, you're gonna be putting in your own numbers for the groups of wheels, okay? If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please reach out on Class Dojo or Flipgrid. I would be more than happy to assist. Uh, otherwise, you guys are free to go ahead and start working on this on your own, and I will see you all in the next lesson. Catch you later.